Last night we did a program and a young woman who's becoming Krishna conscious asked a question about how to respond to a specific situation. It made me think that the answer is that we should already know how to respond to every situation. And if we ask the question, how should I respond to this specific situation, it's like, it's almost like we're questioning that is there a specific way to respond to every situation where, where in fact we already have instructions how to be, what our consciousness should be, how, what our behavior should be in all situations. So what is that? We have the qualities of a Brahman, the 26 qualities of a devotee. So if we ask how should we respond to this particular situation, the answer is what are the 26 qualities of a devotee? That's how we should respond to every situation. So I was explaining to her that there was some ignorance in the question, thinking there's a specific reaction to a specific situation. And if we practice Krishna consciousness, and we practice living the 26 qualities of a devotee, then we really never have to ask that question. We just have to ask, which of those 26 qualities do I need to employ in this specific situation? And the other point is, I should already be acting on those qualities, so in that sense, I don't have to ask the question because this is how I should always be acting. You understand? So why would I have to ask the question, how should I specifically respond in this situation, if I'm already acting on those 26 qualities all the time? So that's kind of the generic answer for the question, how should I respond to this situation, is practice the 26 qualities. You won't have to ask the question. You'll always know how to act. You'll always be acting properly. Does that make sense? So saying, how should I specifically act? Sometimes also the idea is, is there a way to react that um, maybe I can get away with something that's not Krishna conscious? I can respond to their behavior in a, in a way that they're they're acting towards me. Is that okay? So really, it's, it's not okay, of course, and it's just a generic answer that this is how we should be in all situations. So it's not a question of responding. It's just how we are. And I'm not responding. I'm acting. That's the point. I finally got the point. A little tired. We're not responding. We're acting. How should I respond? Why act? How to respond? Just always act in Krishna consciousness then there's no need to respond to anything. You're always acting in a Krishna conscious way. You're not responding this way or that way. It's only Krishna consciousness. And when we talk about responding, that means we tend to respond in a non-Krishna conscious way. So we're acting, what's the Krishna conscious way to respond? The Krishna conscious way to respond is be Krishna conscious all the time. Then you don't have to ask the question. And asking the question, in a sense, is an admittance that I'm not always Krishna conscious and I need to be. So think about that. I think it'll make sense. Maybe I didn't articulate it as concisely and as well as I would like to, but I think it will make sense to you if you think about it. Hare Krishna. If you like this video, you can subscribe below. Also, I'd really appreciate it if you share this video with others, if you comment on it, if you like it, do whatever. You have to click to share it because I think... A lot of devotees would appreciate getting these videos. I try to take our philosophy and put it in a practical way so we know how to apply it in daily activity. And um, this is one of the services I do. And I want to reach as many devotees as possible. If you can help me, I'd appreciate it so much. Thank you.